Now it's time for our In the Know segment to ensure that you're up to date on Riverside County's current happenings. As you've probably heard, there's a large number of measles outbreaks hitting various states around the U.S., including California. According to the CDC, the number of individuals affected this year has increased to more than ever reported since 1994. Fortunately, there have been no measles occurrences in Riverside County, and everyone would like to keep it that way. The Riverside University Health System has launched a website in efforts to prevent any cases from hitting too close to home. This website provides all of the need to know about measles and will keep you informed on the very latest. We will post the links for you on the Spectrum of Innovation website and that way you can stay informed and help keep measles out of Riverside County. Hasn't the weather been unusually cold and rainy for this time of year? It looks like a few parts of Riverside County will be experiencing some of the same weather this holiday weekend, but it should start clearing up later next week. We'll need those sunglasses soon enough. Speaking of the holiday weekend, there won't be any scheduled I-15 freeway closures until after Memorial Day. Then next week, the freeway improvement projects on the I-15 between Calca Road and El Cerrito exits will cause some nighttime northbound lane closures. The Cerrito exit will be closed, closed during this period, and detour signs will be posted. On Cerrito Road itself at the I-15, there is now a new temporary traffic configuration to allow crews to widen the bridge, so allow extra time when traveling through that area and drive safe out there. Now, let's talk about all the fun events going on in Riverside County. Tomorrow, May 24th, you can catch Spike and Mike's Sick and Twisted Festival of Animation at the Fox Performing Arts Center. The event is for adults ages 18 and up and will feature a wide collection of submitted adult animations. The creators of shows such as Beavis and Butthead, Monsters Inc. and Toy Story made their debuts at that festival, so it's an event you won't want to miss. Feeling like taking a journey back in time? The Kornberg Renaissance Fair will be held in Corona on weekends between May 25th and June 23rd. Each weekend there will be a different theme, so be sure to check their website for info before going. Grab your tunic and your friends and prepare to have a carouse. Also, on May 25th, the city of Idlewild will be hosting its Art in the Park events. There you'll be able to view and experience many forms of art while in the beautiful San Bernardino National Forest. If you miss the event in May, you can catch Art in the Park again in June. From Friday, May 1st to Sunday, June 2nd, Temecula Valley will be holding its 36th annual Wine and Balloon Festival located in Winchester, California. There will be local beer and wine, as well as great food, live music, and entertainment lots of vendors, and of course, a chance to ride a hot air balloon. This event is open to all ages. On Tuesday, June 18th through Monday, June 24th, the Palm Springs Cultural Center will be holding its 25th annual International Short Film Festival. Many of the submissions go on to receive Oscars, and submissions come from all around the world. Sounds like a great event and a wonderful opportunity. So with school ending soon, are you looking for something for the kids to do? Here's a creative, educational, and fun summer camp that they will love. JDS Creative Academy, the same people who bring you SOI, offers an amazing summer program. Starting on June 17th, creative kids and teens will experience writing and putting on a play in just two weeks. They will learn improv, script writing, acting, building sets, and working with props and costumes, ending with a performance on June 28th. There are full and half day options and spots are limited, so register now. Hope to see you here at our studio. We are all looking forward to it. 